Interviewer can ask you to explain a real world scenario for using currying while developing our web applications. So I'm going to go to the HTML file and I'm going to add another h1 tag over here called hello Piyush and here it is. Now I'm going to go to our JavaScript file. So right here I'm going to create a function called update element text and this is going to take an ID and inside of this I'm going to create another function which will take content. And inside of this, I'm just going to write document dot query selector and I'm going to provide this the ID hashtag ID. Oops, just like that dot. And I'm going to update the text content to be the content provided right over here. Now, what we can do is we since we have an ID over here. Oops, I haven't provided the ID. So let me give this ID of heading. Let's take this ID. Now what we can do over here is we can just initialize this function with our ID once and we can update the text of our heading again and again by calling this uh, the function that will be returned from this. So let me show you. So const update header and I'm going to call up element text and I'm going to provide this this heading um, ID. Now we can use this update header again and again every time we want to update the text inside of this heading right over here. So let me show you. I'm just going to call update header right here and I'm going to say hello roadside coder and let's see. Yep. You see we have updated it 